but again, for me, this practice of uh, exercising, it's a coarse metaphor, but the muscle of attention, really the skill, the art of attention, of awareness. That's our most important martial study. And our skill in every other aspect of the art, including the actual application of the techniques, comes out of that. Uh, if you're aware that you're in opposition to the energy, you have the option to move into a harmonious relationship. And uh, um, magic, the potential that Aikido opened up for us was that we could handle somebody who was bigger and stronger because we weren't going to oppose the force. And again, you know, that's nice. I think martial skill is a good thing. Capability is a good thing. Uh, there are bad people, people who do bad things in the world. Uh, but most of us don't spend much of our time there. On the other hand, the economic forces, the uh, existential forces, they're in play all the time. We're always dealing with that. And the same practice, I think, if we have it uh, here in the physical realm, you can apply it to, I mean, in the same way you're sensing into the room and anybody might have, you know, apply the same thing with the economic world. What other forces might be? So what, what aren't you noticing? What, and it's not a matter of coming up with the right answer because it'll be right for a minute and a minute later it won't be the right answer anymore. But, but the process of kind of realigning, you know, is the word centering. You're not centered, you're centering. You're never centered because it's, the flow is always in the You know, since I'm not centered, I just recognize as soon as I get back quicker, he's always centering. So this recognizing this practice and the mercilessness of the fact that there's, there is no break from it. There are certainly moments when it's going to be more critical, and so hopefully when you let down, you let down at the right moments. But um, we're not going to be aware all the time, or I shouldn't say we're not going to be. And maybe that's too much to hope for. But uh, again, when I started studying Aikido, it wasn't so I could be the baddest person in the world. It was just so I could be a little bit better than I was. A little bit better if I had to handle something on the street. And for me, what was much more important was a little bit better in terms of handling my own energy when I would get angry and frustrated and all the things that you get because you know how people are. <laughs> so um, for me, that that aspect of it was more important than the martial. And, you know, I think for all of us, there's a time when kind of the martial gets important, you really want to play with that a little more, and then there are times when... And maybe there are some people who that's all they care about. That's, that's fine. Um, <sighs> calibrating where you are is one way to help yourself start to tap into that next level or more because when you don't know where you are, you would know what more is. You know, being more connected or more uh, aware or more perceptive is. But as soon as you start to pay attention, then uh, whatever you say, it's changing on its own. It's also growing on its own. It's also aware on its own. And once you start to connect into that, it's a different world. It's a different possibility. And, um, you know, I said to Bob a couple times, I said, you know, I don't think I really got that tougher. And I'm sure in most most any good street fighter would kill me, you know, whatever. But I said, but for the most part, I think, you know, any idiot who attacked me would be very surprised because what they want. And and uh, that my capability has hit a level that's very surprising to me. I don't think of myself that way, but but then I went out and studied some other arts, and it was very interesting to me how how the Aikido carried over. And then my most important part of you guys, when I went to Hawaii, you know, and I came back and I said, no, I didn't get on the mat once while I was gone. I was there five, six months. I said, but, but I used my Aikido more than ever. It was just this feeling of having a, a sense of how to be in this environment that, um, I don't want to say it gave me an edge in the sense that it was better than anyone else. It was just, it gave me a, a, an edge on opening up other possibilities for myself. So. And, um, so again, you know, maybe we want to work on taking
techniques, certainly when you're bringing students up for tests and stuff, you, you really want their techniques to be precise. And I've never minded that. I've always been, you know, in favor of we're going to do techniques, let's do them well. But again, let's not get lost in searching for our keys or learning the techniques. Uh, and fail to have this other practice that I think Osensei was offering us that, to me, exceeded what most of the other martial teachers were showing. And again, I don't know that many of them. I don't know how many really did have that sense of connecting to the whole. Maybe some of them were incredibly that way. And I, I assume there were some. But, but for some reason, Osensei surfaced for us and we're all connected there. So I, he's a good example of it, too. A little rested? Grab a new partner. <laughs>